Hi, I'm Jared from KTWU. Coming up, a segment from Sunflower Journeys. If you enjoy it, please consider visiting ktwu.org to make a contribution. Moving on to our Plains People segment, we meet a man who makes handcrafted stoneware pottery that's used as cookware and dinnerware, as well as items for the bathroom and even for the birds. I went to K-State and I studied under Angelo Garzio and he was very much a functional potter. In other words, the pieces were not a, a sculpture. You made pieces that were to be used. That really stuck with me, so I have always been what's known as a functional potter. All of these pieces are usable. Oven, microwave, dishwasher safe, lead free, probably next to a sharp stick or a flat rock. Pottery is the first cooking material that man had to use. I do uh, all kinds of kitchenware. Uh, I do a line of pieces for the bathroom. And then of course all of it, pottery is attractive. So you can use the work to uh, accent your home, to decorate your home. This is Ringo. Now Ringo uh, is world famous. When he was a kitten, I had a table full of freshly thrown pie pans. And he ran right through the middle of them, which had some nice clean footprints, paw prints. We glazed them up, and the public loved them. So the Ringo line of pottery was born. I've shipped all over Europe, New Guinea, Japan. I had a wholesale account in Paris. I have no idea how they found me, but the majority of my work is in the U.S. Most of the shows are in the Midwest from uh, Michigan and Michigan, Minnesota, down into uh, uh, Oklahoma and Texas. Sometimes I may have a, only one show in a month's time. Like this coming September, I have five shows in a row. I'll be in Kansas City, Omaha, uh, Fort Wayne, Warren's, uh, Wisconsin, and then Louisville. Pretty much most of the year I've got two part-time people and then with school out, uh, my last two children at home are helping out in the studio. I've got a total of five children and they all have grown up attending art fairs, helping out with sales, learning business. Been good training for them. Yeah, it's very much a craft show, uh, put on by the uh, Independence Chamber of Commerce. And it's celebrating the uh, origin of the, the Santa Fe, California, and Oregon trails. Mostly it's a, an enormous craft fair, lots of food, and then a, a huge carnival. So because of the carnival, the hours are, are awful. We start at 10 in the morning and go until 11 o'clock at night. The fine art, the, the high-end two-dimensional, the fine jewelry, um, you're going to see very little, if any, at this type of show. Oh great, somebody got in there and now has it all blocked up. 
I choose to use different venues from the high-end fine art shows to, to everything in between. Uh, sometimes the shows are too high-end and there's, there's just not enough buying public that can afford a thousand dollar pot. I like to satisfy a, a customers that can spend twenty five or thirty dollars and be totally happy or a hundred bucks and they've got a grocery bag full of pots. And I like to have people take my work home and use it and come back because they like it. And I've got I have a number of customers, ladies that have bought from me for 20, 30 years and now they've got their children hooked on it. So those are the things that keep me going financially, but also tell me that I'm doing the right thing. Hi there, how are you? Those two? Okay. $58 even. And, that, and that's one of the things that I'm well known for. Um, my prices are very reasonable. And it's a good quality work. I've kind of gone around and around with other people about, about the cost of my work. That, that this, this mug should be a $30 mug. Poppycock. By the time I, you sell one mug at $30, I can sell probably two dozen of them at $10. To me, it, there's more joy in hearing people say that I drank out of your coffee mug this morning. I have coffee with thousands of people every day. <laughs> you know, I really do. That's great. Thank you. Most people have a job. They, they go to a, a place of business and they make widgets and go home. Or they go to a place of business and they sell widgets and they go home. Well, when you're in the arts and crafts business, you've got to make the widgets, you've got to market the widgets, you've got to pack them and unpack them and sell them and transport them, and you got to do it all. It's not an easy life, but it's a very gratifying life because you're, you're making something, people like it, they're giving you money for your work, and that's real gratifying. Hi. Let me give you some money for your work. All right. <laughs> I guess it's just making people happy with what you do. It's, it's, uh, that's more the reward. Glad you could stop by to see a clip from Sunflower Journeys. There are more great local stories out there waiting to be discovered but it takes help from viewers like you and me to make it happen. Visit ktwu.org right now to make a pledge.